Good e Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. <laughs> Together we are Matusi Crafts. Welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us for Funfold Friday. If you're new to the channel or you're watching live or the replay, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and pop in a comment as well as sharing to your crafty friends. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, so today Barry is demonstrating an easy Funfold uh, pillar? Yes. Card? I I think that's what we're gonna call it. Uh, but it's it's quite easy. Uh, and he'll be using the circle saying spundle, uh, which he'll share uh, when it's camera down, and or right now, and also using the delightfully eclectic DSP design search paper um, by stamping up uh, an amazing pack with loads of different um, designs for um, to coordinate with different stamp sets and bundles from the annual catalog. So yes, yeah, so we'll say hello to those of you who have joined us. Thank you so much. If you are watching the replay, do fast forward to the demonstration if you prefer. But um, yes, we'll say hello to those that have joined us. Lovely. So we have got Lavinia that's coming. We've got Mandy. Good evening, Mandy. We've also got Linda, um, Joanna, um, Mum, Marina, um, who else have we got there? We've got Quinn. We have also got Pauline. And um, 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 I think that is it. Oh, Janice has popped in down there. We have also got Angie, um, Claire, Gian. And I think that is it. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening to you. So thank you for joining us. So yes, yeah, so it's me crafting tonight with a simple fun fold card for you. Um, so anything else you'd like to add? Nope. Um, nope. If you are interested in our card kit offer, we'll bring it up now, or Barry will. So yes, so for um, if you order the Timeless Arrangements Bundle from our online shop, uh, the QR code is there for more details. Just scan that in and you'll be taken to our website with more details. So you'll get a free card kit for these three card designs. Um, as long as you order the Timeless Arrangements and uh, by 26 of July 2023 and um, also using our host code. Lovely, excellent. So let's yes. get crafting. Right, I'm gonna, yeah, that's fine. Ooh. Let's move over into the comfy position. So yes, so as we, as Jay mentioned already, um, this is the stamp set which I'm gonna be using, which is the circle sayings one right here. Um, so, and it also comes in a bundle with the, um, not that one there, with, if I remember correctly, it's with the two and three eighths punch as well. So this is what this pairs with. Um, so yes, you can buy it separately or you can buy it with the punch. Is obviously get ten percent off if you do it with the punch as well. So that's what I'm going to be playing with tonight, and um, we're going to be yeah a simple a fun fold card. I will going to be doing this on some basic white thick with some designer series paper. So I'll go through that one with you in a second. Let me just get that one out. Um, the designer series paper we are using is probably one which you see, well, you've seen us use it an awful lot recently. It is that huge bumper pack of paper, which, but I, for the life of me, can I remember what it's called? Let me just get the, um, the thing out. I don't know where it is. It's that huge bumper pack. But I can't remember what it's actually called at the moment, and I've, I've hidden the, um, I've hidden the name sheet with all of the colours on it. So let me just quickly find that for you. There it is. So the delightfully eclectic 12x12 designer series paper pack. It also lists all of the colours which are in here as well, which makes it easy for pairing cardstock or other colours with what you're going to be colouring in. So that's one that's definitely a go-to card pack for us at the moment. Well, definitely one for me at least anyway. I don't know. Do you agree, Joe? Is it a bit of a go-to for you at the moment yeah, as well? Yes, especially for the, for the ones that hasn't got a suite. Yes, um, yeah, for, especially for ones which aren't in a suite, which uh, hasn't got one going. So it's if you haven't got it, I would highly recommend you uh, treat yourself to that bumper pack of paper. There's loads in it as well. It's a really big pack, so you can get lots and lots of um, cards out of it. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to cut my card stock down here. I'm going to cut this in at 25 first. 
to give me my card um, card base to give me just a longer strip just so I'm not wasting two little bits and I'm going to cut this down to 14 so it's 14 by 25 is what you want your card base to be which in inches is going to be nine and seven eighths by five and a half okay so that's what you want for that one and then I'm going to then score this at ten and a half centimeters Ten and a half, seventeen, and twenty-one. And in inches, that will be four and one eighth of an inch, six and five eighths, and eight and a quarter. I'll just bring that up. You can just see my scrap bit of paper. Whether or not you can read my writing is another matter. But yes, yeah, so 14 by 25 in centimetres, 9, 7, 8 by 5 and a half. Score it at 10 and a half, 17 or 21. And then in inches, 4 and 1 eighths, 6 and 5 eighths and 8 and a quarter. Here are the um, designer series paper and cardstock measurements in centimetres. And we haven't worked them out in inches as of yet. But um, if you can work in inches, uh, centimetres, you can see those there. So that's what we've got. I'm going to be using, out of the delightfully eclectic designer series paper, I'm going to be using this striped one right here. And I'm also going to be using the lovely flower one here. And I'm going to be pairing this with a bit of fresh freesia cardstock as the card base. So I've already gone ahead and cut my pieces down to size. So what you're going to need here is you will need some fresh freesia cardstock here at 10 by 13.5 centimeters. You will need some striped DSP or two pieces the same at least anyway. One seven and a half by 13.5 and one six by 13.5. And then you will need another one of a contrasting colour here at 3.5 by 13.5. Okay, so that's what you will need for those bits. You would also need a bit of vellum as well and a bit of spare paper as well, which I will use the thick part, which was the, if it works, let me just double check if this does work on here. It does, whilst I've got it, I may as well just punch out my circle right now. So that piece there, and I've just used the two and three eighths of an inch circle punch. So that's what I will also be needing for that one. So really, really simple. What we're going to do is we are going to fold and burnish this. I will just look for the bone folder. Um, yeah, I think it may be over there. Yeah, that's it. So we're just going to do one there as if we're folding our card stock, our card base, as we would do normally, okay? And as if that's a normal card. And then we will then fold this one back on itself. And then fold back on itself. Okay, so that there is a mountain, valley, mountain is what you've got with your card. So that's what it will look like and that's how it will open up once it's on display is like this. We can go ahead and we can stick our fresh freesia in to the inside of the card. Like so. Then the SP one eighth of an inch smaller than the panel. Okay, Joe's just worked out the measurements. I will read those out to you in a moment for the inches. So what did you say, Jay? You've done it one f an eighth of an inch smaller than the panels. So an eighth of an inch smaller than the panels. So DSP, so is two three eighths by five three eighths, is that? Yep. And then one and a half by five and three eighths there for DSP. 
and then one there for three inches. Three inches and five and three eighths is what you need for inches. Okay, so that's that one. And then we will then use our pattern paper. So the smallest one is going to go over on this side over here. Like that. And we're going to stick that on this panel over here, like this. That's that one. And then we will stick this one over on this one here so this one is just going to get stuck along this panel here but it's going to line up so and it's going to be floating and then it's going to line up over on this to cover up that um fresh freezer that side so it just might be just worthwhile just popping some glue let's just change the glue now let's Like that. And then we can then stick that down like that. Line that up with the fresh freezer layer which we've got behind. So it's kind of like a floating floating panel there. Now originally we had this one stuck on the fresh where the fresh freezer was. But Jade decided, thought to herself, it might look better this way. So it's a floating panel so that it, you can at least still write your sentiment. Otherwise, we're using this paper on the back there. would have covered. You wouldn't have been able to have written the sentiment. So that's a nice little addition to this one. Change to what you may have seen out there already. And then with the pattern paper here, some glue all the way along this. And then we'll stick this on the front like that. And there we have that. Okay, so that there is pretty much that is your fun fold. Okay, so. That's just going to go, and then we're going to do a nice simple topper for this here, so you can pop your sentiment in the middle, and then we're just going to do a nice simple topper for this here, and that's how that one will then stand stand up. Okay, so for the topper, what I've gone and done, I've already got, you saw me already punch out my um, circle here using the two and three eighths of an inch circle punch. I'm going to be using the Celebrate stamp, the circle one, so circle saying. It's going to use the Celebrate right here. And <laughs> Dear, it started singing. And I'm going to do this in Night of Navy. Okay, and we are just going to stamp this over this. So just bear with my head made just get in. I'm just going to bring it off camera over so slightly just to centralise this. And then... We can then come up. Okay, so I'm just holding that in place at the ink setting. And then down we go. Okay, so that there is the celebrate, celebrate, celebrate circle saying done in Misty Moonlight. So, oh, sorry, not Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy. So it matches the saying right there. Obviously, it's dark enough that you can get away with it being that it looks, it looks dark black as well. But you can see that there is a slight colour to it. Then what I'm going to do is with some of the scrap which I've got going on here, I'm going to stamp the cupcake. So I've got my cupcake here. And I'm going to stamp this in some memento. J 
Jay, if you use basic whites for your car plays, oh, you've already answered that, Jay, yes. Yes. Of course. I, yeah, it's, um, um, yes, so use thick for the card base. So we're just going to stamp that down in Memento. And I'm just going to let that just dry for a second before I do some other stuff. And what I'm going to also do is I have got myself a little bit of vellum right here. And I'm going to do got the stylish shape dies. And I am just going to... Um, did I leave it out already? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. It might be on the table here. There it is there. Yeah. So, stylish shape dies. I'm going to take one of the circles right here. Now, circle. See, this is a right mess in here. It's, it started off being nice and tidy, but it's um, they get used so much that they just get chucked back in now. It is the. fourth smallest one down so as you've got them in there I'm going to be using the fourth one down from the biggest is what I'm going to be using I'm going to cut that out of in using some vellum okay so let's just bring in my cutting machine A circle out of this. You don't have to do this, this is just an addition which I thought looked quite nice. It will work on its own as well. Without that, this is just a, an added extra, I just added into this. And then what we are going to do is we're then going to colour the the cupcake. So I will colour, um, let's go with, let's see what this one is, colour is like here for the actual cake itself. So I've got the medium combo 600. I'm just going to use this one for colouring in the actual cake itself. So that we've got a nice coloured cake there. And then we will have, what colour should we do the cake case? Um, we will do the cake case. You should do it in vellum and then lay it on top. It looks like a cake. <laughs> Jay's saying I should do the case in vellum so and then lay it on top so it looks like a case. Yeah, maybe we will leave that one for a moment. <laughs> I'm going to go with some fresh... What colour? Let's have a bit of fresh freezer for the cupcake itself, for the actual frosting. I'll probably go with a nice blue, I reckon, for the actual cupcake case. Right there. Let's take the dark one just to add a little bit of... Um, Colour on the sides here. And I'll just, I'll just blend these out. Just. Just added a little bit of shading there. Just add a little bit more just to make that just 
a little bit darker. And then I'll just blend it out. With the light. Okay, quite liking that one there. And we will have a blue. Let me see what the... Have some blue on here. Have we done that on the fun fold? I'm not sure. Jay's just found another fun fold which she might want to do for us. So, yeah, I'll go with the Azure Afternoon here. So, I'm just doing this in light at the moment. I'm just going to just just pop a base layer down. Nothing, but nothing fancy on this. Gian said, "So happy to see you crafting, Barry." You're welcome. Thank you. I always love everything you create. Isn't that lovely? Thank you. You tell them, Gian. I keep telling him. He don't. He don't listen to me. <laughs> I still had to have Jay's input when doing this card, though. Linda said, are we celebrating the opening of the Barbie movie? <laughs> <laughs> so I've just used a little bit of the dark there on the outsides, like I did with the um, with the frosting. And I'm kind of going around and I'm just, just scribbling this on really to say it looks, it doesn't look too uniform. And I'll just add another little bit more. Just kind of layering these up. So that there is my lovely cupcake. And we just need to just do that little back part there as well. So that there is my frosting. What we can do, oh, see, I'm adding, I'm doing a J now. I'm adding. Wink Stella, you can just go over the top of your frosting right here. Just to give your frosting a little bit of a shimmer. That's it. And now we are going to fussy cut this out. So what I should have done first is I should have done this first and then given it to Jay. But, um, I, I nearly said that before you started, but I thought, nah. <laughs> so you didn't want to help me out. So we're just going to cut this out here. Like so. So Jay's found some other fun folds, which we're going to ask you if we've done already, because we can't remember if we've done them. <laughs> always updated but I can't remember I don't think we have even this. if we have done it yeah we can probably update it because some of you may not have seen it already it's on our channel gathering. I think you have I tried to look for it so we're just gently going around giving a bit of a white border around this very very tiny white border as we fussy cut this out Just round the bottom here. And there we have it. So we've gone and cut our lovely cupcake out. And then what we're going to do is um, hopefully that now works. I think that works with that one there because we've got some blues in here. We've got the fresh offset. You're doing it off camera. Can't see it at all. And then we've got some blues in there and which pulls in the blues. We've got the fresh freezer which pulls in from there as well. And obviously we've got a neutral colour. So you can do that just as is. But what, uh, so if you didn't want to do the vellum part, but what I wanted to do, the vellum, I quite liked this vellum addition to this. Just make sure I've got this round. So we're just going to stick this 
cupcake to this vellum here. Essentially on the vellum. Like so. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals and we'll pop some dimensionals on the back of that cupcake and vellum. So the cupcake is obviously is perfectly hiding the glue and the dimensionals here. And then we will take those off. And then this is a tight fit on here, but it works quite nicely and it goes in the center of those that celebrate. And because it kind of like gives us a little bit, even though it's, it's very tonal, it just, you get like a different contrast. You can see it better in person. And it gives something that it's just raised itself up quite nicely as well. It was just another layer. It doesn't, I think it, it adds, it looks like it's better in person than it is on camera on here. And then that there is then just going to then go centrally over the top of this. Again, I'm going to pop this on some dimensionals. So we just need to make sure that we are, I'm going to try and get that celebrate like so. I probably should have centralized that just a little bit better because that cupcake's a little bit wonky. I want the cupcake to be straight um, on that one. So we will just do some dimensionals down the middle. Like so. We've got Tommy who's hovering around. He must know that we're coming to an end very soon. Because he's just hovering around my legs. We haven't done it recently. Okay, and that's going to go in centrally like so. No Tommy. And that's it. That there is just a simple fun fold card for you with an addition. Now what you could do, just with the inside if you wanted to, just grab your uh, memento again. We will just ink that one up there. And then if you wanted to add a cupcake in the middle, sorry, down here, we could add a cupcake down on the middle part in there like so and if you want to color that you can do and then um just to finish that one off let's maybe just pop the happy birthday dummies on him so he can't move much no i'm restricted i've got tommy you can see i've got a tail right here he's he's just literally just standing on my lap at the moment whilst i'm crafting with you all he's making it very difficult he's now trying to lay down and um, we will grab the memento again there. We can then take the happy birthday. You can see his tail just whipping in. And we can then just <laughs> add the happy birthday in the middle, like that. Now, if this is wonky, Tommy, I'm blaming you because I can't look over it. And there we go, it's a little bit wonky. Tommy, that's your fault. That's it. I'm blaming him. Look, you can see his little ear poking What's in, in down cupcake? the bottom down here. <laughs> What's in the cupcake? What's in the cupcake? Oh, yeah. It's it's wonky. It, it, <laughs> yeah, what's in the cupcake? Yeah, there's a bit of gin in the cupcake. <laughs> so there we have it. Simple, Amazing. fun fold card here, which um, Tommy approves of, I think. There we have it. Bling it up. Sorry? Rip on bling. Oh no! If you, <laughs> I tell you, if you no, want to do it, if you want to do any blinging, Jay, this is your job now. Well, you can ask everyone if they're recreating it. We, Barry wants help with blinging. So yes, it's show us, project. show us your blinged projects, please, because I will not be doing any bling. <laughs> Embrace the wonk, Angie says. Um, the only bling, the, as far as bling as I'm going, is the Winker Stella. That's yeah. it. That's all the bling you're getting right there on that. 
So there we have it. There is our, what did we call this? What's the, what fold did we call it? I don't know. Easy fun or pillar card. A pillar card. <laughs> so panel. another pillar card. Panel card, that's it. So um, there we have it. That's it. We are done. Amazing. So Jay's just going to come over and we will finish up. Wow. You're as messy as me. Not, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Jay has paper flying everywhere, whereas mine's quite easy to tidy up. So, um, there Amazing. we have it. Amazing. Everyone's loving the vellum um, underlay. Underlay, underlay. Underlay, underlay. Um, and love the paper, definitely. And I think uh, having that DSP yes. there as well, I think works. That was Jay's addition so. with that one there, his idea for that one. Because and it's quite nice it because it, it kind of like, it's not straight, it's... Yes. Slanted, <laughs> not slanted. What do you call it? Angled. At an angle. Angled, it. slanted. Lovely. Love so, it. thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed that. Obviously, do recreate that one there. Show us how you will bling this on up. Uh, you can go to town if you want to. They can put embellishments on it. You can have some. You can, I can see Jay's. Baker's twine. I can see some twine Reborn. on there. Jay's getting a little bit excited at see. He wants <gasps> to add his. Um... She reborn. How as you, your uh, afternoon. How would you have to add that? I don't know. Just at the back here. It's fine. So you will see a, probably an updated version of this card um, on pictures where Jay's added his touch to it. Yes. Um, how, what's on Sunday? What's on Sunday? It's more timeless arrangements, isn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. So don't forget if you want to. Um, oh, that's right. If you want to win this card, go back to last Sunday's, the 16th, 16th of July. Pop in a comment if you haven't done so for a chance to win Barry's card with the timeless arrangement. Yes, so last Sunday's, we'll be giving that one away at the beginning of um, next, the Sunday coming up video. And we'll be playing with more timeless arrangements as well, won't we? Yeah. So, lovely. Cool. So, thank you all so much for watching us live for this Funfold Friday, and we will be back with you in a couple of days' time for more inspiration. Yes. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.